Okay, today we're looking at finding unknown links, problem solving lesson 7.10. And remember that we're still working with multiplying fractions. And it says use the strategy, strategy guess, check, and revise to solve problems with fractions. So Sarah wants to design a rectangular garden with a section of flowers that attracts butterflies. She wants the area of this section to be three-fourths square yard. So when you multiply your length and your width, it should come up to three-fourths of a, a square yard. If she wants the width to be one-third the length, what will the dimensions of the butterfly section be? So we only know the width, so we've got to figure out the length. <coughs> what do I need to find? What are they asking us to find? What will the dimensions of the butterfly section be? Okay, so the dimensions of the butterfly. Okay, so we're finding the dimensions of the butterfly garden. If we go to our next box, it says, what information do I need to use? The part of the garden for butterflies has an area of. What does it say our area is? Read back in your problem. Three four, square, three, four square yards. So three, four. And a width. And the width is blank. One the third, length. One third. One third. <coughs> How will I use this information? What, remember what our strategy said? Use the guess. Yes. What, what did you do after you guess? Guess, check, and revise. Yes. I will use guess. I will guess the size of the butterfly area, and then I will check my guesses and revise if it is not correct. So I will guess, check, and revise. Okay, so solve the problem. I can try different lengths and calculate the widths by finding one third the length. For each length and width, I find the area and then compare. If the product is less than or greater than three four square yards, I need to revise the length. So this says length in yards, three-fourths. And remember that it has to one-third, the width is one-third of the length. So they're saying their square, the that her square is going to be, the length is going to be three-fourths of a three-fourths yard. And then they took that by one-third because this is one third of that, and they got one fourth. So the area of the butterfly garden in square yards is three sixteenths, or three fourths of one fourth is three sixteenths, so that's too low. Try a longer length. So now it's telling us to try two and one fourth. If we change that into an improper fraction, it is nine fourths. Okay, so we are going to use this. Uh, they want us to use two and one fourth, or that's nine fourths as an improper fraction. So we're going to take one third. Remember, um, three fourths is our length. I mean, nine fourths is our length. So one third times nine fourths. Can we do any cross reducing here? Those of you that have been using cross-reducing, yes, yes. what can we do? Nine and three. We can divide those each by three, right? And so when we multiply one times three, we're going to get three. And when we multiply one times four, we're going to get four. So it says, then you take, so now we're going to take our, our nine fourths, which was our guess, and we're going to multiply it by three fourths, 
and we're going to get 27 sixteenths. Now, is that going to be too high or too low? Remember, they wanted it to end up to be three fourths. Is that too high? That's going to be a mixed number. 16 will go into 27 one time, right? So that this would be a simplified be be 1 and 9 sixteenths, right? Yeah. Or 11 sixteenths. 26 minus 16 is going to be 11 sixteenths. 16 is a lot more than 3 fourths, right? Yeah. So this one is too high. What should we do? If this is too high, we've got to try something that is smaller than that, right? So we have to try a shorter length. Try a shorter length. The first one was uh, we needed to try longer, now we need to try shorter. So we tried 3 fourths and 9 fourths. Now we've got to guess another measurement. They didn't give us another measurement. What do you think? You could try 6 fourths or 5 fourths. Well, what would be halfway between 3 fourths and what would be halfway between 3 fourths and 9 -4? Okay, so we decided we're going to try 6 fourths, but we're going to simplify that. 6 fourths, it can be um, 3 halves, or it can be 1 and 1 half. In this case, we're going to use 3 halves. So we're going to take 1 third times 3 halves. Okay, and we can do some cross reducing. reducing. One times one is one, and one times two is two. Then we have to take our one half and plug it into our other, the three fourths that she wants the area to be, times one half and see what we get. I'm sorry, it's not three-fourths, it's what it's is it? Nine three halves. Okay. So three halves. So three times one is three, and two times two is four. So there's the area that we needed. So that one is correct. So we won't have to do any revising. Okay. So our length is going to be this three halves. Okay. Let's see. So, so the dimensions of Sarah's butterfly garden will be what do we find? Three halves will be one half. That's what we found here when we did our multiplication and we found the width and yard by the what did we multiply it by? Three halves. Three halves or one and a half. So our butterfly garden is going to be a half a yard by one and a half. The area is three fourths. It's one and one half long and it's one half the width. Marcus, this is the next page 330. Marcus is building a rectangular box for his kitten to sleep in. He wants the area of the bottom of the box to be 360. He wants the area of the box to be 360 square inches and the length of one side to be one and three fifths the length of the other side. So it's going to equal 360 square 
inches. He wants one side to be one and three fifths the length of the other box. So one side is one and three fifths times we don't something here. And we don't know the length of the other side. What should be the dimensions of the bottom of the bed? What should the dimensions of the bottom of the bed? What do I need to find? Okay, so I need to find the dimensions of the bottom of the bed. So you need to find the dimensions of the bottom of the bed. And that goes in your first little box. You'll have to stop the recording in and write it. Okay, for some reason it's not letting my question come back up. So this is the middle box. The What information do I need to use? The area of the bottom of the bed will be 360 square inches and one side will be one and three-fifths times the length of the other side. So you need to pause your recording and go ahead and get that down. And then the second, the last box says how will I use the information. Well, once you found uh, your answer with your guess, um, I will guess the lengths of the sides of the bottom of the bed. Then I will check my guess and revise it if it is not correct. So go ahead and stop your recording and write that. Okay, there was a little uh, confusion here in the classroom that this was thir that this was thirteen fifths, and it really is one and three fifths. So if that's what you wrote at home, please fix that. Okay, uh, if you're working on this at home, you need to stop uh, the recording and you need to draw this table into your box toward the bottom of page 330. Don't forget to go ahead and write the information they give you into the box. Okay, so we're supposed to be drawing this box. And this box, what they tell us is that one side will be one and three, three fifths times the length of the other side. So whatever this side is, this long side is going to be, let's say this is side A. It's going to be A times one and three fifths. Okay? So everything that we have in this box under guess, we're going to multiply it by one and three fifths. Whatever our guess is. So I don't know how many guesses it's going to take us, but this should be always be one and three fifths. Okay, we only have a couple minutes of record, so I hope we get done. Let's think about, we're going to be at 360 is going to be our uh, area. So think of some numbers that we can multiply together that would be 360. Okay, so we're going to say that A is equal to 12 here. We're going to take 12 times 1 and 3 fifths. What is 12? Whoops. What is 12? times 1. 12. So we have 12. What is 12 times 3 fifths? 36 fifths. So what is 36 fifths as a seven. as a seven fifth? And one fifth. 7 and 1 fifth. So I'd have to add that to my 12. So what would I get? 19. 19. If we use 12 for A, then we think that this long side is 19 and 1 fifth. We're going to do that. Okay, so when we took 1 and 3 fifths times 12, one of our leaves would be 12, and then we'd have 19 and 1 fifth. When we figure that area, it's 230 and 2 thirds, so that's too low. So now we're going to revise, and we've decided we're going to use 15. When we tried 15 inches, we multiplied that by 1 and 3 fifths, so we got 24. So we took 15 times 24, and we got 360. So the dimensions of the bottom of the kitten's bed will be 15 by 24 inches.